This woman was found snooping around my underground vault. When she was captured, look what we found on her. The Philosopher's Legacy. This microfilm contains all the information regarding the Legacy. You might say that this film itself is the Philosopher's Legacy. It was the smell that gave her away. No, not the perfume. It was gasoline. Motorcycle gasoline. She reeked of it. To think that lovely Tatiana was a spy. We found this radio along with her too. Such a fine woman she was. It almost pains me to have to kill her. <laughs> yes, she was an obedient one. She was my precious little pet. Ah! Oh! Isn't that right? Well, she's up now. What was that? Do you have something to say to me? Go to hell. You dirty whore. Oh. I've had enough kisses from you. Sokolov wasn't man enough to have a lover like that. Just like the KGB to send something so beautiful, yet so deadly. What is the Philosopher's Legacy? Very well. I'll explain it before I kill you. During the last Great War, the most powerful men in America, China, and the Soviet Union had a secret pact. The pact was a blueprint for defeating the Axis powers and creating a new world order. To secure victory in the war, the three countries pooled their resources to conduct the most covert types of operations and research. The atomic bomb, rocket technology, the Cobra unit. And they amassed an enormous sum of money to fund these projects. Enough to fight the war five times over. That wealth is the Philosopher's Legacy. After the war was won, the three countries were to divide the Philosopher's Legacy amongst themselves. This explains why the United States and the Soviet Union were able to steal away the best scientific minds in Germany as soon as the war ended. But our great motherland has far surpassed its pathetic rivals. We possess enormous wealth, the most advanced technology, and overwhelming power, assets fitting of our great country. My father was one of the men in charge of managing the philosopher's legacy. In the confusion that ensued after the war ended, he devised a series of ingenious plots to ensure that the Soviet Union would have total control over the legacy. Money was divided up and laundered through banks all over the world. Switzerland, Australia, and Hong Kong. This microfilm contains a record of all those transactions. After my father's death, I learned of this secret and obtained the microfilm. With this money and the support of Brezhnev and his allies, I built this fortress of Groznygrad and Granin's research facility. But that worthless fool Granin failed to produce results. I was forced to turn to Khrushchev's dog Sokolov and his invention, the Shagohod. 
My physician and Gru made it too troublesome to attack Sokolov's facility directly. But the spy network established by the secret pact still existed. I used it to contact the boss and suggested that she defect. The boss was conniving enough to see things my way. The world was once one, but the conflict between the philosophers has torn it in two. We will use the legacy to heal that rift and make the world whole again. To do this, we need strength, an unstoppable trump card with enough power to bring order to the world. That trump card was to be the Shago Hod and the Cobra Union. I have lost the Cobras, but I still have the Shagohod and the Legacy. There is nothing America can do to stop us. Boss, take this someplace safe. Take good care of it. He wouldn't have come waltzing back in here unless he had a reason. The C-3's been stolen. He must be planning some sort of sabotage. I'll go see if there are any surprises waiting for us. I'll dispose of her as well. Everything to me. Fight like a warrior, Volgan. But of course. Let me face him. I've been waiting for this moment. Time to get even. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. No more judo and no more field strips. Stand right there and watch. Got it? Please, Colonel, let me... Silence! <laughs> that there. Sorry for the delay. Let's get started, shall we?
just you and me now. And I'm gonna enjoy this. Snake! Watch out for Volgin's electric shock attacks. If you're shocked while equipping a gun, the bullets inside the magazine will ignite and the gun will explode. But he should be vulnerable just after launching a series of shock attacks. Avoid the attacks and either shoot him from his blind side or engage him directly with punches or CQC. And don't forget that the timer is still ticking on the C3 detonators. When it reaches zero, it's all over. You've got to finish him off before then. Hopefully I still have time. Shoot him! Do you hear me? I said shoot him! Sorry, Colonel. I'm afraid I can't do that. What do you mean you can't? I made a promise to the boss. Silence! I am your commanding officer. Are you questioning my authority? Fight like a man, Volgin. Volgin? 
Emergency. Explosives have been detected. All non-EOD personnel must evacuate immediately. Ocelot! Find those bombs! Repeat. Explosives have been detected. All non-EOD personnel must evacuate immediately. Move it! Huh. <laughs> Ready for some more snake. <laughs> I'm being against a wall, you fucking... Pull him away from the wall, it might help a little bit. I'm getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> Get out of there. <laughs> <This way. laughs> Everybody run! It's gonna blow! I'm out of here! Let's get out of here quick! Hurry! We're all gonna die! Evacuate! I'm too drunk. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Step on it.
did you? The boss let me go. The boss? But why? I'll tell you later. Right now we've got to get to the lake and escape. We can't leave yet. I've still got one last job to do. The boss is already at the lake. Huh? She's at the lake. She's waiting for you there. Waiting for me? I was hoping I wouldn't have to tell you. I don't want you to fight her. But I... I've come to realize that there's a special relationship between you two. Something I can't understand. Something that goes beyond a man and a woman. I envy you. Really, I do. But I guess I just can't understand it. She asked me to tell you something. I've never seen someone with such clear eyes. There. I said it. Ready to go? Yeah. Oh god. Oh god. This is bad news. Where are you going, lady? A little more uh, frustrating than Metal Gear Solid One. Uh, which where am I supposed to aim, lady? God!
blow him up along with it. Good plan. The bridge is on the other side of the runway. We'll have to cut through the middle of the base. You ready? Step on it. If it catches up to us, we're done for. <laughs> A lot easier if you've messed with the camera a little bit better. Oh, 
Oh god, no. <laughs> oh, this is bad. Somewhat. Now that I'm at least got a gauge for this shit. Okay, at least now that I'm on the runway, I've got clear shots. In most cases. This thing doesn't work for a while. Um, that's for the actual fight, it looks like. Shadow Hot is on the bridge. Shoot the explosives. 
The bomb is planted on the strut of the bridge. going to say just so I don't fuck this up good luck
snake, the rear frame of the Shagahod was destroyed when the bridge collapsed. The backside of the front frame is now exposed. Even the Shagahod is bound to have less armor plating on its backside. I'm sure you can penetrate it with the RPG-7. Attack the Shagahod from behind with the RPG-7. The machine gun on that thing is deadly, but you can force him to break off his attack by firing the RPG-7 at the body of the Shagohod. If he starts strafing you with the machine gun, pump a rocket into the Shagohod before you get turned into Swiss cheese. All right. So I'm going to save it. You want to save? I'll get right on it. I know I kind of wanted to make this an entire set piece, but this episode's gone pretty fucking long as is. So... Snake, be careful out there. Don't worry. Right, this will give me a nice little break, if nothing else. And we'll get to destroying the Shagohod. I uh, don't think I'm going to beat the beat the game in the next episode, but I'm definitely going to try. So I'll see you next time.